Thanks, Steve. It's a debate that's getting hotter by the day. A Colorado school changing the words to the Pledge of Allegiance. First, it was French and Spanish, and now this week, Rocky Mountain High School has come under fire for reciting the pledge in Arabic. Can that be considered unpatriotic, or is it A-OK? -okay? Join us for a fair and balanced debate. Katie Pavlich, news editor for townhall.com and Fox News contributor. Liz Stern, founder of divamoms.com. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so this is the cultural club at this high school. They asked the principal if it was OK to first do the pledge in French, Spanish, and then later in the week, Arabic. Katie, you have a problem with it? Absolutely. Um, we've seen throughout history that civilization is, is put together and held together by one language. Whether you're a person who likes science or you're a person of religion with Tower of Babel, we know that language is essential to having an economy and a country that stays together. Now, this is a public school, and the language used by the government of the United States most often is English, and these kids should be reciting the Pledge of Allegiance in English. Liz? I understand what you're saying, uh, but I also believe that if the children are speaking other languages, that they should be allowed to say the Pledge of Allegiance in their languages. We do live in a melting pot here in the United States where there are many different cultures and we children speak many different languages, and I feel that they should be allowed to say the Pledge of Allegiance in their language if that's something that they choose to do. You see, the thing for me, ladies, is that I guess I break it down onto what they were actually reciting. Mm -hmm. if, if they were reciting a nursery rhyme, mm -hmm. then I, you know, then I don't think we'd even be having this discussion. They're yeah. reciting the Pledge of Allegiance, which is our patriotic pledge mm -hmm. to this country. And in fact, the immigration debate on Capitol Hill right now, one of the tenets of the Senate's bipartisan commission is that immigrants coming to this country learn how to speak English. Katie? Right. Well, we, we are supposed to be a melting pot, and that's why we have these diversity clubs on the, in these schools on college campuses, why we have diversity programs and, you know, organizations dedicated to that. Mm -hmm. But the fact is we've seen um, the melting pot turn into to singling people out into groups, and in terms of ha this happening in the public school system, let's not forget the, the controversial La Raza Studies program in right. Tucson, Arizona, that turned into segregation. But um, and so we got to make sure this isn't about singling people out, but rather coming together as Americans. Okay, principal says this. We have a tremendous amount of diversity in our school. This is very American, not un-American. When they pledge allegiance to the United States, that's exactly what they're saying. They're just using another language as their vehicle. Liz, I guess if you played devil's advocate here, or if you switched it around, you know, it seems that you can't say God in school anymore, but now you can say Allah in the Pledge of Allegiance. I think that's what some people had a problem with. And I understand that. Um, again, this is a every it's a personal opinion and everybody has the right to choose and think and say what they want to say at the end of the day i don't think anybody should be changing any words and i think that the pledge of allegiance should be allowed to be said in that language of choice okay got to wrap it up there katie Alyssa, have a fantastic weekend Thank you. thanks bye-bye